In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do some simple feed in braids where you're going from big to small. But there is a bit of a challenge in this one, and that is that we honestly don't have a ton of hair. My client brought a partially used bag of hair, so we're using less than one bag. So I'm going to show you guys how I improvise with that. I'm starting off with a cat eye section in the middle of her head, and then I'm going to go ahead and start doing these small braids first. Now, I want to make sure I have all the little hairs pinned out of the way, and then I'm using some shine and jam gel which honestly it's called a braiding gel but it's not hard or crunchy at all it just gives texture to the hair I'm gonna be using about a third of a piece that I already have pre-sectioned off on this braiding rack in the back links will be in the description box down below and then I'm gonna go ahead and add in that hair and braid it on through now because I am working with a small amount of hair I find that the little braids help because you can add a little bit of hair in and easily disguise where the hair starts and stops towards the end you want to make sure you coat the hair pretty well in product this is just going to help it to blend in with the uh, loose hair that you have there now I'm coating around the sections there notice I'm putting this on the hair not on the scalp I see a lot of people doing like these stitch braids and these braids where uh, they're adding in this braiding gel but they're slathering it all over the scalp and I just don't get it so I'm gonna be taking one of my sections of hair and I'm splitting it off into three subsections and then taking one of those legs and splitting it into two don't worry I'll show you this again later so if that's confusing you'll be able to see it up close really quickly uh, once I get that locked in I'm gonna start grabbing a couple of those pieces right off of my arm and feeding them in now if you need a tutorial on how to do feed in braids I will try to have one slide out in the top right corner for you that way you can kind of understand exactly what's going on so once I've added all three of those legs into there uh, I've got that entire first bundle and then I'm gonna grab a full one on in there and basically what I'm looking for is I want the feeling of hair to be more than the feeling of her natural hair, uh, which honestly is kind of difficult and you have to have a tight grip, a good amount of product on here to make this work. So we're just kind of following this up and you guys can see how neat this is looking. Now my client Cheyenne has a lot of hair. So the keys to making this work out as well is making sure her hair is really well moisturized before we even get started. Um, that way it's able to be a bit more tame and then just making sure I use my product correctly. So you guys can see towards the end, I'm coating her hair with this product to help it blend in so her hair is not sticking out of the braid, especially because there's not a ton of hair added into this. As you guys can see, once I get beyond her hair, it tapers down quite a bit. So the last thing we need is extra problems here. So once I get to the end, you guys can see uh, I'm just kind of braiding down. And whenever I feel like one of those legs is a little too thin, I just steal a little from Peter to pay Paul here and that way it balances out my strands this also helps to keep you from uh, having issues with your braid coming undone so easily later and it makes sure that everything looks like it's all the same length when you finish just make sure you only take little pieces don't take a massive piece or your braids gonna be lumpy when you do this basically going down to I can't really braid easily anymore because then I know it's not gonna easily come unbraided and I'll show you guys a technique towards the end on how to get it to stay braided all the way down without rubber bands or without burning the hair uh, now once I've done that I'm gonna go back to the right side of her head your left and I'm literally just gonna bounce back and forth on these sides uh, just so I can make sure everything is even um, now of course I want to make sure everything is nicely cleaned up my part lines are clean and honestly I go back and forth from left to right because I want to ensure that all sides are the same this is all the hair I have and you guys can see I'm only four braids and I've got a whole head to do so uh, what I'm doing here is showing you again how I'm taking one piece splitting it off into three and then separating one of those legs into two once I have that locked in, I'm going to add in a piece of the hair. I'm going to travel one to two steps and I'll add in another piece of hair. And honestly, I just do this by feel so that way none of the legs feels like it has way more hair than the other ones. So the more you do it, the easier it gets. And of course, I explain this, explain this in more detail in my other tutorial on feed and braids. Now, like I said, I'm going back and forth from left to right on her head. This way I can ensure that both sides are even instead of doing the right side and then going after I've finished the right side and doing the left side. This way I can make sure if there's five braids on one side, there's five braids on the other instead of like four braids on one and like seven on the other side or something crazy. And now on these thin braids here, rule of thumb is basically you need to be able to easily see your comb through that section 
for a thin braid like that if it looks like it's going to be thin a lot of times the rule of thumb is to part it a little thinner because the braids always look bigger than what you think they will when you're doing the whole big braid small braid situation you can thank me for that later trust me i've seen many people try it and end up with what looks like big braid medium braid so from there, I'm going to go ahead and apply my product onto here. And I'm not going to waste your time on this because, I mean, I feel like by this point, you've kind of seen me do this. I'm literally following this pattern throughout the entire head until I get finished. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and skip forward here in just a moment once I lock this in. Uh, so you guys can see, lock it in there, start braiding, and then we'll go ahead and speed that baby up. And then we'll transition on towards the back end of this braid so you guys can catch a little bit more detail. Now at the end, I'm going to go ahead and use my trimmers just to edge up her neck because I don't believe in trying to grip your entire soul with braids. Uh, this is neck hair, not scalp hair, so I'm not going to even attempt to braid this up. So just clean it up so that way everything looks nice and neat and there's nothing to distract or take away from her style. Um, plus, she didn't want all of this on her neck. It's summertime, not winter. You know, we don't need all that warmth. I love you, Cheyenne. Um, anyway, so <laughs> we're going to go ahead and get her edged up. And then from here, I'm going to show you guys how to seal these ends without using boiling water or a lighter. So I'm taking my dryer on high heat, pulling that hair pretty taut, and then I'm just going to blow dry that hair on high until the hair begins to silken and thin out. Now, what this does, it helps to seal those braids so they don't easily come unraveled. It helps helps that hair to lay more tame uh, that's me playing y'all and then from there it makes sure that everything just kind of blends together nicely without having to worry about burning your client with hot water by accident and look at all this hair I have left and got good so this is a final look of what we've got going on here and this is my victory dance when uh, you didn't know if you was gonna have enough hair but God came through for the win and uh, from there I'm just gonna go ahead and trim a little bit of hair you guys can see Cheyenne loves it uh, and we're just do this only after you've sealed it you guys only after stay glam make sure to follow us on instagram at get glam fam for more behind the scenes content posts from hair down to family posts like this one here with zelina and myself or even posts like this here with allison and the girls and their little matching outfits we have all sorts of stuff on there that you may actually love be sure to check us out